channel and all in life of an ASB. If you guys aren't following me, these are based on the introvert and extrovert series that I want to address. Hopefully, to you all. In the last part of the series, pretty much, I was talking about the pros and cons of dating an introvert, which covered the five main important areas that comes under it of the pros and cons, which is the flirting, the communication, the conflict, socializing, and conversation. So, in all further ado, basically, this is part 4B, basically, 20 things to remember when dating an introvert, just to give you a heads up and a fair, clear understanding of you, to you all, what it is, life is like for, for these introverts, pretty much, and hopefully this will just, maybe for the ones that are the opposite to us, that are extroverts, may be able to find us, you know, a better person or whatever, just to learn about each other as we grow into the relationships, if we are or not, you know. So enough for the joke, is, you know, I'm going to do it now. But as before I do, I must say that I'm a bit of both for these introvert and introvert styles that I have been looking up of the definition versus, you know, the signs, classical signs, traits of these. This will vary depending on, you know, the situations I'm in or who I'm socializing with and the like. But even though, like in reality, you know, let's be real high up. I have been ashamed of being the way I was, you know, but then to this day, I'm still am th this kind of characteristic trait of it, maybe more of the time of an introvert. But then now I'm trying to remember and there's nothing to be ashamed of because this is who I am despite this label as an introvert. But as I said, you know, here goes anyway what I said about the 20 things you should remember when dating an introvert. So number one, we introverts love being alone now and again. Don't forever think that just because we we want alone time that we're ignoring you. No way, Jose. As I said many times before, especially in the socialization part of my series, if you've been following my channel leading up to this, that for for us we need to rewind, relax, and all that, rejuvenate our, or recharge our batteries, shall we say of our social energy tank so it will be filled up again to the point that we can, you know, do what we want to do and it gives us the chance to just breathe and be us for a while. Let's put it that way. Number two, we tend to get overwhelmed in being with big crowds. This is a two point for us introverts and I'll I'll say this, this is remaining true to me sometimes if it's a real, real big, humongous crowd. I'm okay with sitting in small groups of people at a time. That's just me, as I said in one of my videos of socialization. But then again, you know, people just need to understand that when, when it comes down to that overwhelming factor, you know, the emotion starts to rage up, rise up sort of thing, be it our heart racing. We start to sweat, we start to feel shaky and the like pretty much, and then this anxiety and meltdowns, wherever stage we're at, when it comes down to our socialization, will crash and burn at us, and that basically will be it for us, put it nicely. Anyway, number three, we really do like hanging around people, we really do like people, us introverts, as I said, are empathetic, we are always caring, we're always sharing our thoughts and interests with you all, no matter who and what you are, we aren't antisocial, that's a no-no, it's a misgiving, misconception about us introverts, however, sort of thing. And um, usually when it comes down when we like people, it just takes a, while, a longer period or a bit while to warm up to others and actually just, you know, know get to know you and, you know, really, really socialise and have fun with you. Number four, we're highly introspective. What I mean here is... We think deeper in our thought patterns. We see black and white. Like I said in, with me, I see black and white. I think deeper. I, I, I still put every information. I still put everything that goes on in and around me. You know, and many, many people may think it's stupid, it's crazy, or whatever label mentality, but that's how I am. You know, um, yes, okay, as I said so many times before, I humbly apologize. I shouldn't have to apologize for what I do. I, you know, even if I do overanalyze certain situations that I'm in, you know, be it if something is telling me or tugging at me like a little string inside me saying, um, Taiho, Kieran, this is, 
you need to tie ho this is not right even if the other person I'm socializing with if it's just one-on-one -on -one, doesn't want to you know acknowledge that you know there is a problem sort of thing even though in this day and age there will bound to be problems in our day and age of where we are facing and you know these problems are there as well as obstacles to test us and everything we go for anyway number five we prefer to get to know fewer people on a deeper level again you're probably saying say what since when we may have a few selection on friends or none at all you know um or people who we can call and trust them as friends you know as they say the you know if we can count to five on our fingers we are blessed to have them as friends in our circle um if you're one of them awesome you know welcome to my life welcome to my journey you know I know that some people may not want to be there for the long haul. That's fine. That's that's your choice factor, you know. But as I said before in one of my videos, that with us as bees, we are loyal and empathetic and we'll stick through and through until we think enough is enough and we'll break through it all. Anyway, continue on. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, number six, we are great listeners. Many people may tend to think just because that, it, like I said, that if I'm not paying solely attention, eye to eye contact and all this other body language that tells you that I'm not paying attention or vice versa, that I am paying attention, but I'm glazing over or gazing into space. I'm still am listening, however, because I'm obviously focusing you alone when you actually present yourself and actually talk to me sort of thing. So be on that in mind. Number seven. Us introverts, we can and will have a bit of fun along the way, or we we can have fun. Say what? I'm hearing again. Many people may think, but Karen, ever since I've known you, you're such a boring, inflicted kind of person that just you know don't want fun or what have you. You describe fun in your books. My definition will be different to probably your definition. Maybe some of you is more likes to party hard and actually go drinking and do silly things while drunk, but that's not me. This is different again. Anyway, we tend to save the best stuff for the right people around us to whom we feel that we can trust and actually feel safe with at that time when we do have our bit of fun. Number eight, introverts wish to be like an introvert to some degree. This is point, true to a point where like, even though we can't change people, we should be able to accept one another. Because obviously being an introvert has its disadvantages, be it like, you know, when it comes down to relationships, some people may think that we can't be the cool dude or cool girl walking down the street or whatever just to make the first move and actually, you know, make that ice-breaking conversation. But that's all right. Number nine, introverts enjoys our quiet night in. Number ten, introverts don't like being the centre of attention. That's he said, as I said in my previous video. Number 11, introverts don't necessarily have fun at parties. Number 12, introverts don't talk about themselves. <clears throat> Number 13, we really want to get to know you as a person in every depth of it. You know, as I said, that us introverts, we pretty much would be probably the best soulmate for you, you know, if you really want to see real deep about yourselves. Anyway, um... Number 14, we work better in smaller groups or just even by ourselves. We don't tend to like big, real big humongous groups, not us introverts, put it that way. We tend to maybe <gasps> panic and just think, oh my god, what am I doing here? You know, sort of thing. And then it's like, uh, mm, yeah, not, not good. Anyway, number 15, we will notice some details of information you may have missed along the way. As introverts, we have eye for detail, eye for information. You know, since, like I said, we go in depth, we may see black and white. We may basically read between the lines, be it whatever it may be. You may thank us later when you miss some sort of detail, be it whatever it is that you're actually reading, be it like maybe something on a form, be it something that is in general like a building plan that, that you missed, you know, and we picked it up, you know. Who knows, but you'll thank us in the long run. Um... Number 16, we see others' point of view as we are empathetic people. We don't obviously take